Well, wedding season is upon us. Brides and grooms. Cold water instead of hot water to save the planet and have even created a detergent better for cold cycles. However, during times of pandemic, we wanted to find out for you if a cold wash is good enough to get the virus out of our clothes. I mean, I'm very interested in this because I always thought you had to wash in hot water if your clothes are really dirty or not. Teresa Bowles here to answer those questions. So Teresa, what did you find out today? Well, to hot wash or to cold wash, Cody, that's what I ask customers here at Bailey's Coin Laundry in Greenville. But what I learned from an expert is it's a combination of the heat, the time length, and the ingredients in the, determine, in the detergent that determine what happens with the germs in your clothes. As Katrina Burns pops her coins in the slot for her first load of the day. Before I wash mine, sometimes I um, spray it out with sanitizer or whatever and wipe it down. I asked her what setting she uses to make sure her clothes are clean. If it's heavy or what, you know, a lot of towels, I put it on um, really normal. Associate Professor of Biological Science at Clemson, Jin Zhong Zen, says normal or medium heat is enough to kill most germs out of clothes, but what about a cold wash? At low temperature, then the surface tension, it's higher, meaning then it will retain that form better. Uh, so it's not going to be as effective in terms of uh, disrupting the uh, cell membrane. Tide has made a new detergent made to clean clothes in colder temperatures in an effort to save the environment. Zen says the ingredients in your detergent make all the difference. The only thing that uh, that have antimicrobial property would be the surfactant. And Zen says if you do wash cold with the right detergent, don't skip out on getting your clothes dry. He says drying at 140 degrees for an hour will kill more than 99.9% .9 of listeria, which will have a similar effect on the coronavirus. Yes, surfactant is going to kill. It's going to lyse the cell membrane regardless of the uh, temperature, but at higher temperature, it is more effective. It is faster. And then it's your choice for the best way to handle your load of laundry. And Zing says you can pre-soak your clothes before a cold wash to compensate for that loss of time. Remember, the longer and the harder you can wash your clothes, the better. Cody? So what about drying them? Have they seen anything about the dryer? Yeah, so when you get ready to dry your clothes, you want to keep them in there for an hour or longer because that will reduce the amount of germs in your clothes. All right, good to know. I'm going to change my uh, habits. All right, Teresa, thanks. And you can check to see how hot your dryer gets in your manufacturer's manual or by checking the machine's website.